Hello! Welcome back to another Action Time Mining video. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit late. I'm like a week behind this this event from posting a, a bonus stage clear, but been very busy, been very lazy, and yeah, let's just get right into the builds and then the gameplay. So for the first stage, we used Kirara with a normal attack heavy build. For weapons, I used the arena weapon for a main weapon. And for the sub weapon, I used a 5 out of 5 super rare weapon, which is the Yasha Sphere, because it has slightly more stats than the Holosphere. For skills, we had Snow Leopard Sprint to increase our movement speed, and more importantly, our normal attack speed. Frigid Zone with a blue set, so enemies are slowed even further and have their defenses decreased even further. And Time Mining Art for more normal attack damage. For supporters, I used Saburo for damage against demons, Kotone for increased melee damage since our normal attacks are mainly melee, mainly melee damage. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. And for the final supporter, we had Fuyumi because I needed another blue supporter. However, I could have easily gone for Sakuya for damage resistance or Mai for also damage resistance. So, you know, if you have Saburo, Kotone, and Sakuya or Mai, you have a completely free-to-play build that is viable. So yeah, that's the build for Kirara. It was, I mean, it was stage one, so enemies were only increased in HP. Pretty easy. And with that build, we've turned Kirara into Asagi. <clears throat> Except you're actually doing damage. Moving on, we got Su for the stage two. And for main weapon, I used Knuckle X because I really like that weapon. Um, however, again, we're facing off against demon types in this stage. So you can easily go for, what is this called? Mighty Knuckle, which increases your damage against demon types. If you've got five out of five for that weapon, it's, it's great. And for the sub weapon, I used her 5 out of 5 arena weapon just to pad out our attack stats. For skills, I used Sendenka with a blue main effect, so you have a mainly hit and run playstyle. If you've seen my other Sue videos, you know where this is going. My, my other Sue cooldown video, you know where this is going. It's mainly a hit and run playstyle. For the second skill, we have Ryuhashin with set 1. You can have it set 2 or set 3, it really it doesn't really matter. As long as you have at least set 1, so you're actually hitting enemies in front and behind you with Ryu Hashin. And then for the third skill, we had Shin Ryuga, just as a filler skill. It didn't really matter what set effect we got, but since we were using two green supporters this time for Sue, we got the super armor for 8 seconds, which was, it was, it was pretty useful. For supporters, I used Saburo, again, for damage against demons. I used Kotone and Ichika for melee damage, because not only are Su's normal attacks melee damage, also you're not, you're not going to be using normal attacks with Su for this build. All of Su's abilities that we're using are all melee damage. I've, I've tested it, they're all melee damage. And yeah, that's the build. Just cycle through Senrenka, and then Ryuhashin, and then uh, Shinryuga. Actually, what you can also do is use Shinryuga first, so you get the super armor, and then Ryuhashin. That way, when you actually use Ryuhashin, you're not getting flinched out of it. So that's that's very helpful. Okay, moving on. Ugh, Jesus. Okay, moving on. For stage 3, we used Murasaki. Pretty standard full green build, tentacle mine build. It's pretty boring really bland but you know green murasaki super effective especially in this stage where your character actually takes constant damage over time as a gimmick so yeah for her weapons i used the arena weapon as her main weapon um, i also had the amber weapon for the decreased duration on the buffs for murasaki because oh my god getting slowed as Murasaki is awful. Thankfully, there wasn't any slow in this stage, and only it's only confusion debuffs, but man, it really helps a lot. So if you're using Murasaki and you're getting an, an arena weapon for her solely for PvE purpose, get the Amber weapon. 
it's way better than the Viridian weapon, especially because you're not gonna get any use out of the Viridian weapon for PvE because enemies never critically hit. So there's that. For sub weapon, I had uh, what, what is this called? Furnace Cleaver, uh, five out of five because like I have her Plasma Edge and it's two out of five, so I couldn't really use it. For skills, we had Senpu. You know the drill. Senpu does a lot of damage and heals for a lot. You can practically heal yourself from 0 to 100 with this stupid skill. Tentacle Mine for the increased movement speed, decreased movement speed, and defense debuff on enemies. It's, oh man, what an overloaded skill. It's so ridiculous. For the third skill, we had Ego Style just for a bit of damage reduction because you're going to be auto attacking a lot with, along with Tentacle Mine, so yeah. For supporters, I went for a free-to-play, like a completely free-to-play friendly build. So, you know, I used Kotone and Ichika for melee damage, obviously. But also I used Saika. Okay. Now Saika, uh, she's okay. She's not amazing. You're really only going to get value out of her when her active is up. However, there are several alternatives to Saika. For one, if you're having trouble surviving these stages, you can use Nanami, which is a green healing supporter. Um, there's also Yuna, the SR supporter, who increases your healing effectiveness. And there's also the new event supporter, Yuna. Not to be confused with the other Yuna, but her name is also Yuna, so... Now, you also don't get much out of Yuna's active or out of Yuna's passive. However, her active skill is much better. So Saika increases your damage against snared enemies. It increases it by like 20%. That's when it's active. That's when you have enemies snared. But for Yuna, you deal 20% increased damage, you take 20% reduced damage, and you also have increased movement speed that's more powerful than Saika. So the new event supporter is really good as a filler. If you've got Kotone and Ichika from the previous events, then Yuna from this event, you're all set. And with that, <laughs> with that, we have turned Murasaki into Asagi. <sighs> except, except you're actually dealing damage and you're surviving. Because you're fucking Murasaki. That's it for the builds. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I wish you luck on your bonus stage runs. I hope you don't find it too difficult. It wasn't too difficult, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, the only, the only difficult part of it that I found was the boss. Um, you're gonna see later that Sue almost died to the boss. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Um, Later, I'm probably going to be uploading uh, something about Murasaki because I've been using her for quite a bit and she has the strong build, which we've talked about, and she has the fun build, which I'm going to be uploading hopefully soon if I don't get lazy. So yeah, anyways, talk to you later and goodbye. この
いもない。選択の前に。ああ,あ、とどめだ。旋風。へい。ああ、とどめだ。我々の勝ちだ。